Cactus Composites is located in Tucson, Arizona, in the heart of the desert. For some of you guys who do not know, I'm Saul from Cactus Composites, and I've been doing carbon fiber work for about four years now. I focus in primarily automotive parts, as well as restorations and refinishing of carbon fiber parts or anything composites. So this is how it all started. I had my first car, which was a 1994 Honda Accord, and I had one of some carbon fiber window visors for my car. I looked everywhere on eBay, online, and came to the conclusion that I could not find any that were what I wanted. So yeah, I ordered a DIY kit from eBay, which included some epoxy resin and a small roll of carbon fiber. So that very first DIY carbon fiber kit that I got from eBay led me to this piece that you see here. It is now broken as I tried showing one of my friends how it was invincible after I had made it. Lo and behold, it snapped right in half and that was that. That DIY kit was nothing more than just a shot at working with carbon fiber. I never expected it to snowball into something more and to become cactus composites. So from my very first part, it evolved. As time went on, I learned the vacuum bag technology, which led me to learning how to finish parts such as this window visor. Previously, I was working out of a half car garage. Now, as you can imagine, that is really not the ideal situation to work with composites. So fast forward three years, I had an opportunity to get my own shop, which you see behind me. It's a very small space, but it's enough to do what I need to do. So this is my fabric wall, and this is where I keep all my carbon fiber rolls, as well as my vacuum bag consumables. We have triaxial spread toe, Kevlar, purple reflections, jumbo two by two spread toe, honeycomb carbon fiber, vacuum bag, different thicknesses of two by two, flow mesh, heel ply, leader cloth, and then finally core mat. Over here in this corner is where I keep all my Tamco products. They have the best clear coat on the market, and if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. Not only does Tamco make an amazing clear coat, they also make an amazing primer, amazing base coats, candies, and if you guys are interested in any of these paints, I'll leave a link down below. Moving on, I want to share with you guys the epoxy resin that I use. This is Max 1618, which is what I primarily use for all my carbon fiber parts. It is a thin viscosity resin, which is easy to infuse, as well as just general purpose resin. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is CSI Ceramics Polish. I use on all my carbon fiber parts. So in my toolbox, we have things like drills, rotary buffers, Dremel tools, Dremel bits, drill bits, my spray guns. Up here, we have my vacuum pumps. This is my workbench. It is three feet by nine feet. This is where I do all my infusions, all my layups. Anything I need to do is basically done on this table. Right here on the workbench, we have two Ferrari F40 US spec seats in for restoration as well as repairs. Now these seats are one of many things that I am working on currently. They have things like fractures, pinholes, air pockets. Now what's crazy about these seats is they were made in 1989. Something else I want to share with you guys is these battery covers for Rye Wire and his electronic EV S2000 build. These will be the battery covers under the hood in the engine bay. They have honeycomb on the front side, the visual side, as well as a core in the middle and standard two by two on the back side. These are pretty thick panels, pretty sturdy. That's just about how thick they are. I'll be showing you guys the clear coat process on these panels, and I can't wait to show you guys the process. All right, guys, this is all the time I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today and my walkthrough of my shop. In the next video, I will be sharing the work on the F40 seats. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. Thank you. Peace out.